Hey guys, today I'm gonna to share with you a recipe for one of my favorite Bundt cakes. It is my lemon blueberry cake. This is a terrific thing to serve at a brunch or a special breakfast if you're entertaining. It also makes for a really delicious dessert as well. So you could serve it with some whipped cream and it would be great for a dinner party too. Let me show you how quick and easy it comes together. So in a large bowl, we're gonna add four eggs, one cup of melted butter that's been slightly cooled, a cup and a half of sugar, a half a cup of water, and one tablespoon of fresh lemon zest. It takes about two small sized lemons. Then you can whisk that all up until everything is combined, and then you can set that aside, and then we are going to whisk together our dry ingredients. And it's a simple mixture of just two and two thirds cup of flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, and one teaspoon of salt. And you can whisk that up. Then we are going to add our dry ingredients to our wet ingredients, just in thirds, whisking gently until everything is combined. And then the final step is to add a cup of blueberries. Now you could switch out the fruit at this point. You could also add some strawberries or raspberries. Either one would also pair beautifully with the lemon. And that's all you have to do. Your batter is ready to go. Now you will need a bundt pan for this recipe just because this is a lot of batter. If you didn't have a bundt pan, you could probably cut the recipe in half and either turn it into muffins or just a simple nine inch cake. But I love a bundt pan because they do all the work for you. You end up with a beautiful design that doesn't take a lot of effort. Even though mine is nonstick, I do like to spray it with some baking spray just for added assurance because there's nothing more upsetting than spending all this time on a cake only to release it and have it stick. You really wanna make sure you get that beautiful design that just pops out easily. And I find that you can really assure that with a little bit of baking spray. And then I just go in with a pastry brush to make sure that it's well distributed. And then we are going to transfer our batter into our bundt pan. And you can do this just from one side and gravity will do the rest. That batter will just spread itself out. And then once all the batter is in, you can kind of give it a little wiggle to make sure that it's all level. And then we're going to place this in a 350 degree oven for anywhere from 45 to 50 minutes. You just wanna make sure that that top is nice and golden brown and a skewer comes out clean. And then allow it to cool completely. And then you are going to turn it out onto a cooling rack and then dust it with a little powdered sugar. And then you can place it on a cutting board or a cake stand and cut it into some nice wedges. What I like about the design of this bun cake is you'll see there are large designs that allow for a nice generous slice as well as smaller designs that allow for a skinnier slice. So when you have those guests that say, oh no, just a little, it ends up perfectly because they will just get what they want, just a little. I love this cake because it is so moist and light and flavored with all of those fresh blueberries and the hint of the lemon. It also gets that nice crunch on the outer side, which ends up developing as your cake bakes. That golden brown texture that forms on the top will give you a nice crunch at the end. I hope you guys give this one a try and let me know what you think. It's a super simple cake idea that comes together so quickly because you don't have to drag out the electric mixer. And when baked in a bundt pan, you really end up getting a lot of luck for not a lot of effort. All right, you guys, I hope you subscribe for more quick and easy recipes, and I will see you back here next week for another one. Until then, bye.